Hello guys, it's me, Pierre, and if you want to see how you can do your natural boy beat, or just a natural beat in general, stay tuned and I will see you in a sec. No, you are not seeing things. What you're seeing right now is called inches. Wow. Can you say inches? I know a lot of you can't because y'all bald. Um, you know, and I'm sorry that you're bald headed. I don't hate you because you're fat. You're fat because I hate you. But I just want to teach you people how us people that have long, flowing hair, how we're able to do a man bun. So remember, if you don't have inches, this video is not for you. Get you some oil. This is vitamin E oil. Yes, honey. Oh, it reminds me of last night. Gross. Rub together. Now, don't be hurt once you see that I'm able to do a man bun. You'll get there one day, hopefully. So you wanna pull it, yes, pull that hair. Then you wanna get you a little scrunchy majigger and wrap her around. Ooh, y'all are mad. <laughs> you, you girls and guys are mad because I got a man. You know when you start off confident, And then you realize that you're not as sticking as you think you are. Bitch, what kind of seed? Shit, I'm still bald headed like you hoes. Anyway, let me get to this real makeup tutorial. <laughs> For my guys out there, and even like my like girls that like to do drag king and you wanna like do your makeup and still look boyish, this is for you. Stay tuned and I'll see you in a second. But I want to start off doing my eyebrows first. Um, you could do your foundation first, but I'm gonna do my eyebrows first, so. Sue me. And I'm using Supra Color from Krylon. It's black. Depend on your skin shade, you may want to use a brown instead of a black. And I'm using a little fine brush like this. Um, if you have a eyebrow angle brush, that could work better, but I can't find mine. Completely unprofessional, completely childish, and that is not what I came here to do. Being that I've been doing this for a while, I can kind of use my finger, to be honest. It's called talent. Oh. <laughs> I'm kind of just stroking through, you know, I've been stroking. And mind you, I always change the shape of my eyebrows. And it's just because I like to have fun trying different ideas. Normally I do the little like, the cross, and I leave a gap here. But I'm gonna just do it like this, very slanted, but really thick. And you see when you brush through, it still looks like hair. And it's just little things that you can do to just be the better you that you can be. Like just enhancing your things. Because I really do feel if females can also put on makeup to enhance how they look, why can't guys? I'm not saying go out there and put on a full beat and blush and all that stuff. That may be too much. But if you want to like put on a little concealer, a little powder to make yourself look better, why not? Let's be real. A lot of guys wear beards just to hide their true face. The tea is exceptionally good today. Serious question though, females. Would you date a guy that likes to like put on makeup? And I don't mean like drag makeup, but I mean like put on makeup to make himself look better. Or would you consider that gay? Can't you picture it? After you and your husband do the wild tango tango and y'all both get in the mirror and beating each other's face? No? Okay. So now that we have our brows pretty much on, I'm gonna be using Pro LA Concealer, and this is as flat as my ass is, cause I've been using this, okay? <laughs> this is the color Beautiful Bronze. I have a little flat brush like this, and I'm gonna flatten it some more, and just get enough on there, just a little bit, and then come right underneath what you did. Still going in that angle, and I'm blocking off the rest of these hairs. I want it to just look like this, but you don't have to do that. You can do your own brow, like your own shape that you want to go for. And then if you ever come down too much with your concealer, you just get your brush again and just fix that. And then do the same thing on this brow and get you a brush to blend with. Whatever brush you can find, just make sure that it's like like this, so you can really blend. And then just blend away the concealer. 
And I like to get a washcloth and clean the excess stuff that's left there so it's not that halo effect. I would love to grow a beard, but I can't. My skin doesn't do that, you know, which is kind of good for me doing drag. But I may show you how to trick you and like put on a beard, but and so with that same black, I'm just gonna come like in between because my hairs on my face like to grow like pubic hair. Do I have to glitter on my lip? You know I'm gay, honey. Glitter just comes out of my pores, okay? <laughs> but I wanna know, there's this myth that like white guys can use razor blades. You know, just regular razors, shave. They don't bump out, but like black guys do that, we bump out. And I have to use clippers mainly to shave so I don't, so I don't bump out as much. I want to do any other black guys go through that or can you use a regular shaver and you're, you're okay? Comment down below. And so far you should look like a 70s porn star that had the mustache, yeah. Beer. I'm gonna use this, but then I'm also gonna go with a stippling sponge. I'll show you that. This is a stippling sponge. It looks like a bunch of pubic hair mashed together. And I'm dipping it in that black. You're not rubbing it, you're kind of just doing this kind of notion. And that way it makes it, it kind of mimics real hair. So you're carrying it down on your natural jawline where you think a beard would kind of like grow. It's weird, it's almost like you're contouring, but just with a beard. And I'm carrying it up to my hairline so it acts like a sideburn. I wonder why they call it sideburn, it never burns. And you also want to come down here where shadow would naturally hit where your beard would grow so that everything is kind of like cohesive. Same thing on this side. Next, same thing with that concealer that we did with the brows. You want to like clean the line so it's like a nice fresh shave and, and line up. And then, of course, blend. Same brush, blend. And guys, I probably should have did this first, but this is my primer I use. This is a mat. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this is a mattifying like charcoal primer from y'all know I can't pronounce that. I'm not a mathematician. Boshka, Boishka. You want to have like a nice primer on your face so it kind of protects your skin. Oh. <laughs> Move on to foundation. This is a water weight foundation from MAC Cosmetics. The number is NW45. So in MAC terms, NW means neutral warm and NC means neutral cool. So warmer colors and then cooler colors, like light skin, yellowish would be like cooler colors. More brown and reddish would be warmer colors. I get a lot of African women that come to MAC who, girl, as black as day, talking about um, I'm an NC20. <laughs> okay, girl. The customer's always right, girl. Now, when you walk in here looking like Michael Jackson, that's, that's not my problem. But anyway, this water weight foundation is like very lightweight, so which I like it as a for a natural look. Only thing that's weird is the little turkey baster thing they have, but I'm gonna put some on my booty blender. I swear. This is, hey, look, it's been used, honey. It's been used. I swear when I see certain makeup videos, they must use a new sponge every damn time because there's no way your sponge is always that damn clean, bitch. Over there tricking a the good audience. They deserve to know the truth. Ooh. This is not my perfect color. Unfortunately, MAC doesn't have my perfect color. So I have to just work with this and make the best out of it, to be honest. And honestly, you don't have to put it over your eyes. You can skip that part i'm just doing that so everything seems like a unit and like i say i'm not mad at this color i find it to be a little red but it's close enough to what i can do with my skin tone from mac you could stop there and honestly you could have stopped without even doing the beard but it's on what you're going for i'm just showing you different steps i'm going to put a little concealer under my eye with that same concealer we used the la pro concealer and i maybe mix it with a little more of that weight water weight foundation because i don't, don't want it to be too bright since I'm going for this natural look, I'm not, yeah, I'm not doing a lot at all, like that much. And I'm gonna mix it just so it's not too bright. And that helps to brighten up under the eyes a little bit, wake you up a little bit. If I was doing like drag, I would set it with like a translucent powder, a Cody powder, 
But I'm gonna just go right into using my MAC Dark Deepest Mineralized Skin Finish. And just go ahead and kind of finish underneath my eyes and just set the foundation. And you could just use a regular brush and brush it on, but I like sponges a lot, to be honest. You could be done. You could literally be done. But I'm not. Because you know I live for a little contour. The thing is, this fake beard has kind of taken up some of my cheek space, but I'm gonna contour a little bit. Using a little contour brush like this. Oh, sorry, goodness. Girl, the more manlier I become. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna use this Ben Nye powder in the color Twilight Sable, which is darker than my skin tone. Very little, not much at all. And then come out with that powder just to kind of tone it down some. And then I like to put on a little mascara, Great Lash Mascara, old school. You don't have to do this, you know, for your guy look. But I just want to bring my eyes out a little more. That's the thing with like the makeup. You can take people's like methods, but then just make it your own. And you see, it just really kind of just helps the eyes. In case you're wondering about the eyes, these are once again Desio, and these are I think this is the color gray. Really good contacts, really comfortable. You can also use that same leftover and kind of just go over your beard again, just to kind of brush it in. So y'all know how I am about my beauty molds. I like to have my beauty molds. Once again, if you don't have any beauty, you can't do this. This is optional, you don't have to do this. But it really works well for like, if you have like a pimple or something and you want to disguise that, make it a beauty mark. And pretty much, that's it. I like to use some Fix Plus Spray or Urban Decay All Nighter to set it and just lock it in. I think Urban Decay um, All Nighter is more like to mattify it and like kind of lock it. This kind of locks it, but it makes it look more like skin again. Even though I have oily skin, but whatever. <laughs> oh, no. So yes, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope that this helps some of you. Even females, you can take this as not the beard and all that, but just using like a natural foundation kind of look. You can work this out. I hope this helped you guys out. And don't worry about what people think about you. If you're gay or if you put on makeup, it's whatever. You want to make yourself look better, so what? Exactly. So anyway, stay beat, stay beautiful, and stay blessed. And I'll catch you next time. Peace out.